Good afternoon, it's August 3rd. You're in Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, and one of the coolest cities I have ever seen. How cool, you might ask, knowingly. Well, let me answer. Cool enough to have a castle in the middle of town. Huh? That is pretty cool, I must say. Yes, actually that castle, Edinburgh Castle, that was one of the main influences for uh, J.K. Rowling uh, writing Harry Potter. So there you have it. Uh, yeah, she, she, this, that, and a school nearby here, nearby this graveyard. They were the main influences for Hogwarts and what she envisioned as Hogwarts. In fact, in this very graveyard that we are in, uh, she got a lot of the names. I remember seeing a plaque that had the name McGonagall. Uh, same as Professor McGonagall. So there's a little bit of Harry Potter trivia for you uh, Harry Potter heads. Shh. Helicopter. Shh. <laughs> How come I always end up sounding like Tobuscus with these videos? It's because it's the lazy, lazy style, isn't it? Anyway, um, Edinburgh's cool. Beyond, beyond Harry Potter stuff. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't, don't you dare think otherwise. Um, there's all kinds of cool stories. I took a walking tour and I got all kinds of little information. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of intellectuals here. There's uh, there's a lot. I can't remember any of their names right now, but plenty of philosophers and uh, and um, and some. It was a great medical school in the in the 1800s. Uh, yeah, so it was kind of a it was a, it was a big place, you know, for a long time. And uh, actually, I gotta I gotta leave you with the. Uh, one story, one very good story uh, about uh, Maggie Dixon. Uh, stop me if you've heard this one. Uh, no, anyway, Maggie Dixon, uh, she had a, uh, she was married. Um, she had a bit of a falling out with her husband. It was a, he was a crap husband, period. And uh, so, so they kind of, they went their separate ways. Like, uh, like any good, any good couple did, because they couldn't get divorced back in those days, right? Uh, so, so they, you know, they went their separate ways. She went off and, and disappeared, uh, went to a different town. I can't remember what the town was. Um, anyway, uh, she, she goes and, uh, and she, while she's away, she falls in love with, with the guy from the new town that she's in. And, uh, worst comes to worst, things happen, and she gets pregnant. Oh, it's funny how that happens when you have illicit relations with people, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, she, she gets pregnant, but she's still technically married to her husband, so what she does, she hides the baby. She uh, hides the fact that she's pregnant, um, and then it comes out stillborn, and she tries to hide the dead baby, but she gets caught. She does nine whole months without getting caught, and then right at the end, of course, somebody sees a dead baby and goes, hey, that's a dead baby. So she gets charged with uh, hiding a pregnancy. And then, uh, so she gets sent back to Edinburgh to, uh, to, be, to be hanged until she was dead. And that's, that was the conviction, that, you know, to hang until you are dead. Uh, so that's, that's what happens there. She, uh, she, she goes and she stands on the gallows, she gets her last dram of whiskey, and then, uh, and then they do the, they pull the lever and she falls and hangs until she's dead. And then the, uh, the undertaker, no, not the undertaker, the, the guy riding, driving the cart that had the coffin, he, you know, he starts to take her away, takes her down the road, and, uh, and, but as he's going down, he, he gets not, not three blocks before he starts to hear banging and scratching from the coffin. And that freaks him out, because, you know, this is the old days, it's, that's, it's a superstitious time, so it's kind of creepy, so what he does, he very carefully, very very carefully opens up the coffin and out pops a, uh, a perfectly live Maggie. Uh, so what does this guy do? He doesn't know what to do. Uh, so all he thinks, okay, well, I'll take her back and we'll see what happens. So he does. He, he turns his cart around, he takes it back, and the undertaker is still there and everybody's still there. And, she, um, and then they're, they're equally surprised to see, uh, to see her dead because the coroner declared her dead. She was dead as a doornail, as it were. So, uh, so anyway, they um, they decide, all right, okay, we'll we'll do it again. We'll hang her again. But before they do that, one guy from the pot back of the crowd says, "Hey, no, 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 you cannot do that." And they said, "Why not?" And he said, "Well, she was tried and convicted of the crime of hiding a pregnancy, and she uh, and she." She was convicted. She got her punishment. Her punishment was to be hanged by the neck until dead. 
and you and in in Edinburgh in Scotland you cannot be punished for a crime twice which I think is the same anywhere so what this guy claimed is that she did not uh, did not deserve to be hanged again because she had already been declared hanged and dead and so they pulled out a big old musty book of laws and sure enough that's that's how it turned out so this woman uh, got away with murder pretty much she uh, she was hanged until dead she uh, and and then she got off she, uh, well she didn't really get off she got her punishment she just survived the punishment so uh, so that's a, a lesson to us in legal loopholes if you can survive death um, then you're okay <laughs> that's, that's the most ridiculous statement I've ever said if you can survive death you won't die so anyway I'll leave you off with that there's all kinds of cool stories out of Edinburgh there's actually is it's a very haunted city apparently and they have a lot of uh, ghost tours and ghost walks so maybe I'll uh, check one of those out while I'm here um, anyway uh, I'm gonna let you go this has been a long video with a long story and I hope you enjoyed it because I really like I got a kick out of that story um, anyway hope you've enjoyed yourself enjoy the uh, the view of the old uh, the old graveyard the inspirational graveyard for for JK Rowling anyway catch you later new video soon safe travels <laughs>